I spend the early mornings and usually the late evenings in the vineyard just walking the vines and trying to get a, a read on what's going on. It's quiet, you're outside and, and you're addressing each vine. And I find a lot of solace, a lot of energy in the vineyard. We've got our heart in this land. I've, I've grown up with these vines. And your goal is to work all spring, summer, and, and fall to put something of interest in that, in that bottle. So, you know, every little grape, every little leaf is so important. It's so deep inside me. It's, this is just who I am. Uh, I call it agricultural art. And if you have a balanced vineyard, you will have a balanced wine without really doing anything. The vines, we don't want them too happy, but you have to have a little bit of Edgar Allan Poe in them. You cannot get comfortable. There is no recipe. So I think as a winemaker in Virginia, you have to constantly be thinking and evolving and changing. To grow grapes in Virginia, it takes grit. Every year, it's just a, a whole different dance that we're engaged in with Mother Nature. We're crafting something, and uh, there's a difference between mass production and artisan. I'm not trying to standardize the taste. I admire the older winemaking regions, but I think I'd be a little bored working there. You know, I'm experimenting. I want to discover. I feel like you can taste the sense of place, the thick humidity, the magnolia blossom, the mint in the grass, the violets in the fields, the honeysuckle. All of that becomes part of what we're growing, and you can taste that. Wine is the intersection of history, culture, geology, geography. Everything about a region's history can be found in a glass of wine. Today, we're drinking the Ark of Discovery here in Virginia. I really feel like we're at the beginning of a, of a big story. To be at the forefront of creating a, a, a wine region which was not existing 20 some years ago. We have only scratched the surface. We are creating for the world to see a place of authenticity and creating wines that are to die for. <laughs> the end.